Hey yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? If you are coming back for more content on my uh, YouTube channel, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed to the my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're new, my name is Bayo Adio. I am a Nigerian American that currently vlogs about his travels. Right now I'm vlogging about Lagos, Nigeria and I am just taking everyone on the journey along with me to rediscover and re-experience Lagos, Nigeria in a way that I didn't experience when I lived there for a few years when I was younger. I've spent a lot of time in the USA, spent a lot of time in Nigeria when I was younger, but I'm rediscovering Nigeria as an adult, um, which leads me to this video today. Um, one of the things that I've never actually visited or done was go into a coffee shop. So I wanted to share my experience of going to my first coffee shop in Lagos, Nigeria, in Nigeria at all. It's something that I never just kind of associated with um, being there. So I wanted to just kind of share the experience with you. And just in case you're in Lagos, you have one more thing to add to your list. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in Lagos, Nigeria to visit, to check it out, or you just want to see what life is about in Africa, check out my Life in Lagos playlist. I have over 100 videos in it. All right, guys. So now let's get into the topic. The place that I want to feature today is called Fresh Fort. This place is on Admiralty Road. Um, and how we actually came upon this place is I went there for dinner. Um, we were looking for a place to get Wi-Fi, so I was like, let's just find a restaurant, let's just go there. We went there at night, beautiful restaurant, it's by the water, and there's like a sea view there that's close to the water. You guys, a, a view here. You can kind of, it's, it's a very high class restaurant, very expensive, so, but I needed somewhere to go. So we went there, we ordered some platter, and we just kind of enjoyed the ambience and the surrounding and it was cool. But on the way walking out, we saw a coffee shop. So then we decided to come the next morning. So this video is just showing you guys what the place looks like, um, what the menu is, what they have to offer. And if you are a coffee lover or you're into that cafe, like go on your laptop, kind of lounge area or you want to go on a date, this video would give you a good idea of another place you can add to your list when you visit Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much and enjoy the video, guys. Anyway guys, this is a very cool place. It's just very chill. You can bring your computer. You know, you can hang out. You can enjoy coffee here. So how are you doing it? Let me get the menu here. That is the menu. All right, so, so I am going to get the cafe, the cafe mocha. Let's try that one. Okay, I think I'll get, um, you know what, let's go for hazelnut cat latte. And I'll get the small size. Yeah. Ooh, the chai latte sounds good. Sorry, we'll change to the chai latte. Yeah. Same size. Sorry? 
same size. The same size, small. And then they have all types of banana bread here. There's carrot cake. They have some cookies. So all these prices have went up, eh? <laughs> so all those prices have went up by like 500 now. Take you guys from the back. If you want to avoid all the traffic, you just come here, please. You just come here, have your coffee, and enjoy the the, the ferry over there, the water. There goes the Ikoyu Link Bridge. <laughs> Anyways guys, it's my... I fly back to the US tomorrow and I'm just uh, taking some moments to reflect on this journey. This journey, this time, because it's been very work related, has been very stressful but at the same time rewarding and I think if there's one word that I can use to describe Nigeria at this moment in terms of the in terms of the climate the one word that I can use to describe Nigeria is potential to be honest I know I know some people can come up with a lot of negative words a lot of positive words but I think I wanted to kind of find something that like shows that things are not great but they could be they could be so much better like Nigeria can be can become a powerhouse with the with the people that we have with the great power that we have with the infrastructure that we have and that they're building and also more importantly the natural resources that we have so I think it's up to people with a, a vision sorry about the noise guys we're at the boat deck I think it's up to people with a, a vision and strong perseverance those are the people that's going to thrive in this type of environment because there's a lot of things that you have to overcome mentally <laughs> to be able to make progress but what i'm fascinated about is that people are doing it you know what i'm saying so i think when i come here there's always there's a lot of people that complain that are not doing anything and there's a lot of people that complain that are doing something <laughs> I try to associate myself with the people that they understand the frustrations, they know all the challenges that they have to go through, but still they think 
I'm going to figure out a way and I'm going to persevere. So I think if you don't have that type of fight um, and you want to grow a business in Nigeria, it's going to be very, very challenging. You won't make it. <laughs> but there's a lot of potential. So I think as long as we focus on the potential, hopefully we can work out some of our leadership issues. We can work out some of our, like, our, our tribal issues. If we can just figure out a way to work together, if we can figure out a way to be safe, I think we can still thrive. I'm still hopeful, but it's gonna require a proactive effort from a lot of people in order to make that change happen. One or two people is not gonna do it. Buari is not gonna do it. It's like when a lot of people, like a collective large amount of people get together, and as a country, is we reframe our identity, I think we can do better. So anyways, I was just kind of taking some moment to reflect and while having my coffee at this great place in Lagos, somebody had a vision that, you know what, I'm going to come here and I'm going to build a very beautiful restaurant and I'm going to build a coffee house here and I'm going to have it by the river. But you have no idea what they had to overcome to go through this. But because of them, I'm here enjoying it. So, I hope this inspires you to not give up, to keep pushing, regardless of what's happening. Because at the end of the day, this is our home. So if you go to somewhere else, you're never going to be truly happy. You're just going to be spending your resources helping them out. I think it's actually okay to have a place that you live outside of your home. But I think you still also need to stay connected consistently on what you can do to contribute. Whether you're there and you're just getting an investment or whether you're there hiring people from there, there's always many things you can do to make an impact. But anyways guys, I have talked too much. <laughs> I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed the shots today of another place in Lagos that I'm highlighting, which is I've never been to a coffee shop in Lagos, so I had to go check it out. Anyways, what do you guys think? Like this video, comment underneath this video, and lastly, please consider subscribing to my channel. All of this is a lot of work, so support my channel by liking the button and hitting the subscribe to the channel. And lastly, remember to rise and let your light shine. Peace.